Hey, it's Matthew Versteeg back here with iAutomate's Image Geotagger. So the next step after we've pushed business information to these photos is to optimize the actual file names, titles, and subjects and to make that process happen a little faster because typically that's the part of the image that you're going to change each time you optimize an image. You could wait uh, to push the business information over until you did the other ones, but it, it doesn't matter because Typically, you're going to use the same uh, comment section with your business information. You're going to use the same latitude and longitude. If you want to change that each time, you could, but typically you're going to be pushing the same information there to all of your photos in a project. Okay, so once you've done that, now what's your next step? The next step that you can do is select a Google My Business category. Okay, so again, we're focused here on local optimization. If you're not doing that, then you could just use the keyword field or you can type over the category field, which I'll show you in a little bit. So first thing is you could come in here and you could look for a, um, an appropriate category for what your business is. Okay. So in our case, uh, you know, we're an insulation business and, and it looks like Google does have a category in Google My Business for this. They call it insulation contractor. Okay, so say we want to use that as our category. It's pretty simple. What we now do is actually take and we check this permutator box. Okay, what's a permutator or a permutations? All that is, is it's going to allow us to mix and match different elements in our fields here in order to come up with a file name or like a string of words, really. So for this example, I'm going to take the business name, we're going to check that. Okay, actually, we'll, we'll just do this. Let's just do uh, the city, the state, and let's do the, um, let's do the category. Okay, so now you can see when I've checked those boxes, it goes ahead and just puts those here and then gives us a drop down with all the, avail uh, all the available combinations. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could list your category, then city, then state. If you wanted to do city, state, and category, it will, it will change that, okay? So it's just showing you all the different variations that you can pick from so you don't have to manually type out these words, okay? So when you do that, it will then show you the string here that it made, okay? Now, just like we clicked on that multi-line area and dragged that over to the comment section, the same thing can happen here. We can click here and we can drag this over to, let's say, our title for our image. And you see when I did that, it just populates that field. Say if we want to do the subject the same way, we can just drag that over, okay? You see how handy that works? So basically what happens is you can do this and just stage them here and drag them over one at a time, and that works. Uh, but I want to show you uh, what is like the lightning method to doing this really fast if you want to do different keywords or different categories each time, okay? So let's say that I wanted to do a more specific category like spray foam insulation. I can just type over that category, okay? So it doesn't have to be in this drop-down list. You can type over it or your categories This shows related keywords to what the Google category is. But again, you can just type over this. So like if you wanted to use this for your tags, you, know, you can just drag anything over to a box and it will, it will take it. But for this example, I'm just going to keep that spray foam insulation that I typed in. Now what I can do is rather than individually changing every single one of these and dragging them all over, we can do it much faster. Okay. We can take our, our second permutations box here and we can drag this down to our template section. Okay, now what is the template section? The template section allows us to make a template pre-saved of how we want these fields to be organized. And then when we press this button right here, this arrow symbol, it will automatically change the, the live data over here uh, for our image, okay? So watch what happens then if I take this, I just put this as like the title and subject, and now for the file name, I probably don't want this kind of format with spaces in it. So we can come up here and use this uh, separator section. That will allow you to see if you want to use an underscore. 
okay? See how it then changes how it will do your permutation. And see, this is like your live example of what it would look like. You can change it. So if you want hyphens instead or underscores, I'll go with the hyphens, I kind of like that. So I can then drag this now with the hyphens to my file name section. Now watch how cool this is now. We now have this little template saved here and we have our custom category of spray foam insulation, we have our city and state. Now watch what's going to happen. I can just press this button right here and you're gonna see all of these top three fields just automatically change. One, two, three, boom, it just changes that fast, okay? See how, how cool that is? And then went to city, state, and then our custom category of spray foam insulation. For our file name, it already has the hyphens in there because we selected it. And then we have spaces for title and subject. Now, if I wanted to apply that to one of these photos, I could just hit uncheck all, so that way they're unchecked. Let's just pick one, let's just pick this one right here. I can then hit apply, and boom, just like that, it changes that information on that image. And then later when we come and we save, that's actually going to save all of this info right on top of the existing image. So if you're wondering, okay, where do my optimized images appear? Same place you drug them in from. So whatever folder you got them from, this is going to save this data right into that image. So there's not like a duplicate, you don't have to go find them wherever you put them uh, from the start is where they're gonna end up, same image, okay? So how do you then change all these other images to have unique data? Because we don't wanna just label them all the same spray foam insulation, right? What if we wanted to do something different? This is how you do it really fast. You can come in and just type, let's say home insulation. Okay, instead of your spray foam insulation. Now watch what happens. I click this check, uh, this little arrow button, boom, it now changes your file name, title, and subject right over here to your new category. Okay, make sure you uncheck that photo because otherwise it's going to overwrite it. So let's just pick uh, another photo and I can just hit apply. Boom, that one's labeled. Okay, let's say the next one I want to do, uh, I want to do fiberglass insulation. So I put fiberglass insulation in, same thing. I can just go like this, push them all over here, and let's check this one, and then boom, now that's fiberglass insulation. So once you put all your data in here, if you use the template section, you can fly through a very huge amount of photos fast just by changing your category here. Or let's say you, know, you wanted to use a keyword. The keyword works the same way as the category does. So you could just uncheck the category and use keyword instead. And then now your keyword here of installers would go ahead and work the same way. You would just press it. And of course we need to have city state keyword checked here. And we need to update that in our template, right? Because we still had category down here in our template. So we need to update that. And then again, for this file name, I like to go ahead and actually select the hyphenated version for it, all right? So in this case here, I would select um, city state keyword with the hyphens and put that on top of it. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. You can use the separator by selecting it up here and then dragging from your permutators down, press this button and then boom, it's going to appear over here. And then you uncheck it, pick whatever photo you want and you'd hit apply, okay? So once you've done this with however many photos you're going to do it for, you then just hit save, and it's gonna say it saved those photos successfully right on top of the existing photos, okay? So it's, it's really that simple. All right, we'll come back in just a second with a few more tips and tricks.